Hi, and today we are on day 23, and we are going to talk about automation tools. So, why um, am I talking about automation today? I believe it is, I guess, very desirable if we have some sort of tools that can really help us streamline our processes in our business, especially when it comes to um, repetitive tasks, such as lead generation. Uh, and um, perhaps having some sort of sales tools available as well. Now, um, I think the idea is all about gaining some time back and being able to leverage and not having to actually do everything manually. And this is why I will give you just a model of um, with three key components as to how a, a lead generation um, front end can look like and that will then um, so move over into some nurturing process um, to actually showcase what you do and then help you create that sale. So three key components and um, we probably need to go back into some of the previous days where we actually had prepared those. One was actually thinking about the lead magnet. So go and have a look at the lead magnet. You want to have some sort of lead magnet that will really um, is is easy to digest, it's very functional for um, your potential client and it's a really hot topic. So make sure your lead magnet actually fills, fills all of those criteria because those, those are the, the things that people really want and actually need and it will give you quick wins. And with that, you can really create um, that, um, that trust factor as well. So create something really high, um, high uh, quality for that and then we also on day 16 i believe we talked about email sequences so you might have to have some sort of email sequence in place as well the third component is actually your um your signature solution what is the program what's the service that you are providing and all of the three components need to be really congruent because you are leading your potential clients from you know, the first contact over to, you know, the second part, which is about nurturing and then actually taking them on the journey or opening up their minds as to why they might want to actually work with you and what results you can give people. So the three key components as in technology bits are a, it's a website, um, not a website, so it's a, an opt-in page. So it's a page basically that um, shows the freebie where people can opt in with an email address and uh, their name. Now, why am I saying it's not a website? It can live on your website. However, if it's outside of your website and it's a standalone page, people are not going to get distracted with all kinds of different buttons on the top in the menu because they might actually land on that page and you are promoting that specific freebie with that pay, with that link and they land on it and then you, they land on your website and they might actually click around and totally forget about giving their email address to you. And this is the key. Once you have their email address, you then follow up. So A, day one, it's about delivering that freebie and then there's a sequence about them getting to know you, you are providing value, you can share your story, your why, how have you helped other clients, and also offers. And this is number three, when you are sharing those offers, okay, so number two was obviously the email sequence, the whole, um, the, the whole uh, automation behind having those email sequences sent out doesn't matter when this person actually opts in and downloads that freebie, it'll start then with day zero and automatically those emails will be going out in that order that you had set it. And then day three, um, the, the third phase is a sales page, or it could be a call to action to get on a call with you. So one, it could be a sales page where you talk about a specific program that you have. Usually you would, um, when it's a higher, higher level ticket like a higher level investment you want to actually get people on a call why because they want to have that conversation you want to have that conversation with them as well whether they are right for your program and 
unless you are creating webinars and you um, they know you very very well in order for them to go and spend two three four five thousand pounds dollars um you know you need to have potentially that all something more personal in place have those conversations um, so it's harder to actually sell something on just a sales page when it is a higher level investment because of those reasons i mean just think about how are you making your own decisions when it comes to a very high investment you actually want to speak to this person and get your questions answered and be so super sure that you know you can also get those results and that this program is the right thing for you to do right now yeah so the sales page could be for a smaller program obviously with a buy now button and information about the program there could be a video in it or if you want to have uh, a page where you briefly talk about your program your signature solution which i talk about a lot in terms of steps you're taking your clients through and um and then invite them and then there is another automation piece obviously you want them to be able to book a call and it will automatically um, add their call into your diary and it will email them the information about how what time they you're going to be connecting with each other so then of course you want to make that sale and you have to have some sort of um button or something in place or paypal or stripe whatever you need to set that up and um organize you can you can automate a little bit rather than asking them to send you money via bank transfer again that's sort of a manual sort of follow-up and then there is the delivery part right so you want to deliver your program how do you do that how do you then leverage perhaps some of the videos you're doing is it something that you may want to reutilize or you want to create another program out of of um, uh, programs you're going to be running live so what's that strategy okay i've gone much more than the three key components that you want to talk about so don't get overwhelmed so the first three things you might want to get in place is an opt-in page an email sequence and some sort of sales page or a page where people can book. Okay, now there are many different tools available as to what software. I personally, I'm using GetResponse, which has all the three tools available in one. That's why I like it. You don't have to have one tool in the one software and other tool in another and connect it together. Um, but obviously it is it is a personal choice. But the components are opt-in, email, nurturing sequences, sales page, and then obviously you'll have the payment part, the delivery part, and um, yeah, that's it. That's um, the fundamental things, as in you know, a just a framework as to how you can utilize those tools um, just to automate. But again, you know, you still have that human contact you still want to be human throughout that whole process you still maybe want to make a video and then email that out to them and say hey today i made a video for you here it is right you may want to invite them to the facebook group so there may be a button somewhere on an email to say join my facebook group if you have one so there's many different ways you can connect with your potential um, clients and how to continue that conversation once they have opted in so I will see you on day 25.